to make some air dry clay. Um, so I'm going to show you the steps in making it and what you'll need. Um, so first of all, you need a medium sized pot. You're going to need some baking soda. You're going to need some cornstarch. You need a one cup measuring cup and a half cup measuring cup. And then also two or three colors of Kool-Aid. Okay, so two cups of baking soda into the pot. cup of cornstarch. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And we need to kind of combine it a little bit. Alright, cup and a half of water. I'm going to pour it in a little bit at a time and mix it up. A little bit more. You can see it's getting very hard already. <laughs> that was the cup. Now it's going to take a lot of elbow grease to get that all mixed together. All right, then we're going to add the half a cup. Alright, so we're going to get this all mixed together. And you can see in there, it's kind of interesting looking, but you want to get it all wet first. Okay, once you have that, then we're going to go over to the stove. So we'll move over there and get started on cooking it. Okay, so we're over at the stove. I have it all mixed together in the pot. It's all pretty wet now. Um, so we want to put the stove on medium low. So we put it around, um, if y'all can see that, about between three and four. Um, about around on the three. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to mix it in the pot for about five minutes until it starts sticking together in a ball in the middle of the pot. All right, so I'll come back to you in a little bit and show you what it looks like in a minute or two or three or four. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and it's just starting to bubble and I've been kind of stirring it off and on but you can see it's starting to clump together. Um, so what we want to do is keep stirring it in the pot until it's pretty much all together in a ball, sort of in the middle. And then um, we'll go from there. So, right, so you can see it's getting really sticky, stuck together in here. So I'm going to turn the heat off. Turn that up, and then I'm just going to stir it a little bit more, and then I'm going to dump it out onto a piece of parchment paper or onto a cutting board with some cornstarch on it. So just show you that. Got this all laid out here. I'm going to dump it out on here, and so I'll show you what we do with that. Okay, the direction said to knead it, but it's kind of on the warm side, but you can kind of mush it around a little bit. Kind of why it's good to use the parchment paper. You could probably use wax paper also, but parchment paper is actually not that expensive. You can get it at Food Lion. I think it was like a dollar for this pack here. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to um, divide it into three separate. Well, since I've got, actually I could do four, because I've got three colors, and then I can also leave some of it white, 
So I want to make um, different colors. So I'm going to pinch off a ball. We'll leave that one white. Let's keep that white. Okay. And then these other ones, we're going to try to make into a color. So we got we have four different colors for our beads that we're going to make. All right, so I'm gonna let those cool off just a little bit. They're still pretty warm, and I'll show you. I'll come back in a few minutes when these have cooled. Okay, off. so I let it cool off for about five minutes so that I can um, do stuff with it without it um, burning me. But you wanna, I notice it's getting very crusty on the outside, so. Um, you want to work on this pretty quick. So what I want to do is make the colors. So if you don't have Kool-Aid, you can just use food coloring. Um, I just thought it would be neat if it had a not only a color, but also a smell to it. So I'm going to dump this in here. And then I'm going to mix it up. I just need it. <laughs> This is air dry clay, um, so it's not like Play Doh per se. But anyway, okay, we'll stop there. I'm going to do the other two colors and then I'll get back to you with what we're going okay, to do. Okay, just it. one quick note um, this was actually grape flavor Kool Aid and it turned black. So that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. So anyway, we'll get back to you. Okay, <clears throat> so we're back in my studio. And I decided not to go with the purple color. Uh, it kind of looks black. Um, so I'm going to do um, blue, red, and white. And what I want to do, um, you're going to need a stick of some sort that you can um, poke holes in it to make the beads and then also a knife to do some cutting. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to flatten these out. You can just do that with your fingers. Flatten it out a little bit. And then take this one, flatten that one out. Like that. And then take this one and flatten it out. It's a little sticky. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer these together, hopefully. This seems to get a little sticky, but it's not too bad. Okay, so we're going to take this, lay this on top, like that. And then we're going to try to roll it. Roll it up here. So these beads are going to be kind of big. That's okay. All right, so you can kind of roll that out into a snake. All right, now I want you to watch. What we're going to do is we're going to take the knife here. We're going to cut this and. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but kind of makes a bullseye. So you get like the different colors in it, like that. There's a lot of different ways that you could do this. I'm just going to kind of shape it back into the 
bead shape. So it's kind of got to shape them. And then what you're going to want to do is take the stick and poke a hole through the side of it because we want to be able to see the design there. So we're going to poke through here. Make sure you get it really good there. So that's where you're going to stick the string through the bead. This first one wasn't the best one to practice with, but anyway. So you want to keep them kind of chunky, I think. And just kind of twist it in there. All right, so you have a little hole on each side. All right, so you can make a bunch of those. Um, I'm going to try something a little different, just so we can do it a different way. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to roll these out <clears throat> to start with. All right, and this clay that I'm using, it's still a little bit warm. Um, I didn't let it cool off all the way. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or not. Okay, there's that one. Um, the directions I read said that as it cools off, it will get less sticky, so maybe if you let it cool all the way off, I'm just impatient. So, yeah, there's that one. And then I'm going to take this one, roll it out. So I'm going to this time kind of twist these together somehow. You do like a little braid. I'm not very good at braiding. Alright, then I'm gonna roll this out together here this way. Okay, so you can see just a little pinch of clay that you can really get a lot here. So here's a, a little bit different bead that we can make then. Okay, and then of course you want to take your stick. You can decide if you want to poke through that end or go through this way. Like that. So see how many beads you can make. Um, and then um, what you want to do is get some string. But which, well, okay, I should say first, what you want to do first is let these, once you've made them and you poke the holes in them, you need to let them set. And I'm not sure how long they need to sit. It might be a day um, until they're dried out or, you know, overnight. Uh, maybe you wake up the next morning. They'll okay. be dried out. Yeah. Something else I wanted to show you too. Um, some of these that are like this, I took them and rolled them into a ball. And it kind of makes it look like a neat little marble design. Um, so you can do stuff like that too. And then poke, poke your stick through them. I think if you let these cool off a little bit more, like I was saying, these are still kind of warm. Um, but it'll work better. <clears throat> so you're learning from my mistakes along the way. But... Okay, um, uh, so it's the next day. Um, the beads are dry for the most part. Um, I just picked up this one. It's a little wet on the bottom, so you may need to flip them over um, just to let them dry. But what you can do then is um, get some pipe cleaners or string. Pipe cleaners will be easy. I got these at um, Dollar General for a buck. I got a whole pack of them right here. So um, anyway, then what you can do is just start stringing the beads on to your pipe cleaner and make yourself a little uh, necklace bracelet or bracelet. Uh, excuse me, a necklace, you might need to use two pipe cleaners. Um, but I'm just going to do a bracelet. And I'm just going to string these together. And then once you're all done, you can twist it together on the other side and make a bracelet. So, all right. All right. Well, uh, when you're done, again, just uh, post what you've made and I'd like to see your finished project. Right. Bye.